I just for I, one moment. I disagree with the point. Okay. That's a fundamental issue then. That's a fundamental difference because I believe that's very important because I don't think that one person from one political party can adequately represent all of the views within that particular riding. In New Zealand, which moved from a first-past-the-post electoral system to a proportional representation system, and the, the, the model they used was MMP, mixed member proportional. They had an election as we did, a federal election as we did, in 2011. In 2011, in New Zealand, 97% of the voters cast a vote for someone that they, elect, that they wanted to elect. In Canada, that percentage was 51%. And as an issue of equity and of fairness, I don't believe that that is reasonable. I will, there is a, an electoral system which would allow all, I just, just one second, just one more thing, which would allow all Canadians to cast an effective vote. And that system is based on proportionality. So my question for you, Stephen, is does it not make sense to you, is it not logical that an electoral system based on the percentage of popular vote that a party receives would equate to the number of seats that they receive in the House? Doesn't that just make sense? Uh, no, but but before okay. you know, we you pursue have the that, I, I'm not quite sure that I, I correctly heard you about New Zealand and the issue of casting an effective vote. Mm -hmm. uh, what was the number you quoted? 97 percent. Did, did you mean to say that 97 percent of the people who voted were able to cast a vote for someone who was actually elected? Elected that they wanted elected. Not, not for an individual person, but for the party. Because okay. they, they cast a vote based not only on an individual member yeah. for regional representation, uh, the ballot is split into, into two sections. There's also a vote cast for the party for a multi-member district. Right. So even if, um, you, if you have a pool of, of seven or eight candidates in a single electoral district, even if you um, cast a vote for the party that doesn't receive the majority in that electoral district, yeah. chances are that vote still counts towards party in a minority position for that electoral district. When all the electoral districts are added up, um, it ends up that the representation in their parliament closely matches the number of votes cast uh, for those parties. Proportionally. Uh, proportionally. Yes. The, so, for example, um, uh, if I vote uh, for uh, Mrs. X, mm -hmm. um, you're not saying that uh, I will only be happy if Mrs. X wins. No, because no. what may end up happening so is that, that, that somebody may, there may be more uh, members, or more voters who cast votes for Mr. Y in the very same electoral district. Yeah. But because it's a proportional system in a multi-member district, both Mr. X and Mrs. Y end up going to Parliament to represent the constituents that voted for them. That's top. The way it works, um, now we're actually starting to talk about mechanics here yeah. rather than just the principle, but right. that's okay because I think that's where your question is coming from. Exactly. If I may and, interpret and, but your I question. I want to understand what you mean by effective, because if effective means the person that we vote for is elected, then I don't think uh, that's um, a suitable Not concept. everybody is going to be able to cast a vote for the actual issue, <coughs> but what we're saying is in a multi-member um, system that 80% more than likely, 80% of the candidates returning to Parliament would be elected based on the first-past-the-post system. Then the compensatory candidates would be the would be the top-ups. That would be the proportional element. So, for example, here in Waterloo Region, we have uh, four ridings. We had four. We have five ridings now, as I understand the boundary changes have taken effect. Correct. Correct. So. Um, for the next election. For the next, yeah, in place for the next election. That's right. All right. Kitchener has work, yeah. 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 So, um, more than uh, likely, um, say, three conservative members are still going to be going to Parliament. If that was one large multi yeah. that was district. one large multi member yes. district. So have, and in essence, we'd have three conservatives um, that might be elected because of the proportionality of the votes within that large electoral district. One NDP member and uh, one, one, liberal one liberal member. Because that is actually how the popular vote broke down in this, what would be now an enlarged, an enlarged yeah. geographic uh, writing, but you would still have your constituency members. And then you would have, you would yeah. have your um, 
uh, what do we call them, Bob? The compensatory candidates. There's a yeah, uh, Yes, um, regional. Regional, yeah. So there would be kind of two classes in this case, but they function identically. Yeah, they, they, they would have There's the no same effective offices. difference in yes. their role or their function. It's just that so my it, vote, because yeah. to be honest, I didn't, and I don't think it's a surprise, yeah. vote conservative, but I would still have my values represented in Parliament by the compensatory the one candidates. Out of I think I understand all of that. I just wanted to make yeah. sure that uh, we weren't talking uh, about uh, everyone's vote being effective in the sense of uh, finding its way uh, into an elected representative in Parliament. What you're really talking about is effectiveness in the sense of uh, finding its way into a party of choice in yes. Parliament. Yes. So yes. the parties yeah. are proportionally represented yeah. in Parliament, not so individual candidates. And, and uh, I mean, I would be, uh, I couldn't deny that um, party politics plays a major role in Canada today for a variety of reasons. But to be honest with you, I'm not sure that's a good thing. Uh, and uh, I would like uh, to move uh, in the opposite direction, uh, to be honest, uh, if I could. I don't know for sure um, all of the ins and outs of it, um, but um, uh, I'm not keen on a further movement towards um, party politics. I am more keen on a movement away from party politics.